Let's start with the 3D modeling. Here we have to switch the interface to 3D modeling interface from 2D drafting and annotation. So I'll click on 3D modeling here. Now I'll start with the wall. So before drawing the wall, we have to activate the wall layer as a current layer. I have already created a layer called 3D wall here. I'll just click to activate that as a current layer. Now I'll go to polyline tool and I'll click the vertices to create the wall line. So I'll select the individual vertices here. Now I'll trace only the outer profile because I don't need to create the interior walls. Okay, I'll click on offset tool and I'll give an offset distance of 24 centimeter, which is nothing but the thickness of the wall. So I'll just click the object and side. So we have created a parallel line which will complete the wall. Now I'll just freeze the plan layer. So click on plan to freeze it. Now you can see only the wall. Now I'm going to extrude the wall. Okay. So I'll click on press pull tool to create a surface out of this wall. So just click over here. When I'm asked to give the height of extrusion, I'll give 310 because 300 is the height of the wall. 10 centimeter is its slab thickness. So I'll give it. Now we have to create the provisions to accommodate the doors and windows as well as we have to create the doors, windows and ventilators. I won't explain this procedure because this was already explained in detail in my last tutorial of 3D house modeling. Those who want to know the procedure to create those windows and ventilators, please refer the respective tutorials. You can click on the corresponding links here. This is how it will appear once you create cutout on the wall to accommodate those windows and ventilators. In my last tutorial, I have explained two different procedure to perform this task. You can stick to any of the procedures depending upon your convenience. Once you insert doors, windows and ventilators onto respective openings, you will get such a model. Here you have a window, it's a four panel window with a dimension of 200 by 150. And this is a ventilator with a dimension of 100 by 60. This is again a window with a dimension of 100 by 150. Then again you have a copy of the same window over here. Then this is a window with a dimension of 150 by 150. Then a door with a dimension of 110 by 210. It's a front door. Then we have a French window over here with a dimension of 150 by 180. Then another window at the kitchen area with a dimension of 150 by 100 then a door on this side with the dimension of 100 by 210 and then again there's another kitchen window over here it is 100 by 100 then a ventilator with the dimension of 100 by 60. So in this project we have used almost all types of doors, windows and ventilators which are commonly used in architectural drawings. Once you make it, it can be used in this project as well as in all your future projects any number of times. So that's an advantage. I have provided uh, this particular 3D file along with the video description of this video. You can download it and compare with what you get when you try to complete this tutorial. I am not planning to insert any doors, or windows or other details onto the back side because I am not going to generate a view from this side. I'll be generating view from the left front as well as from the right front sides. So I need to detail only those areas. I have also created a foundation with a thickness of 45 cm or 1.5 feet. For that, I have drawn a profile over here along the wall. Okay, since this is a sit out area, I should also move in this direction while I trace the polyline profile. Then I give a negative extrusion of 45 centimeters or one and a half feet. Okay, then I have created another plane to represent the floor. You can see that plane here and I have provided a small thickness of one centimeter. This is just to represent the floor. You can see the difference in color here. 
I have created different layers to keep individual objects. Okay. Please click on the link provided if you are not familiar with the creation procedure of all these objects. Next, we will create the steps. The height of the foundation is 45 cm. So we have to have three risers on our steps. Let's analyze the 2D drawing and see how the steps are made. The first step is running throughout the width of the sit out. You can see that step over here in the elevation. It is a full length step. And the second step is over here. The length of that step is equal to length of this opening. So let's create these steps. You have the corresponding profiles in the plan. So let's make use of these profiles. Before sketching the profiles, we have to make sure that the 3D floor layer is the active layer because I'm planning to keep uh, the steps in this layer. Now let's move on to the polyline tool and I'll click the corners to complete my polyline and I'll just give a close then I'll go to extrude tool and I give a height of extrusion of minus 15 centimeters okay now let's move this step and I'll keep it on the bottom plane so I'll go to move tool select the step and this is the base point and this is the second point now let's make the second step so I'll go to polyline and you can trace the profile you can see the profile over here I'll make use of this profile and I'll just give a close and then I'll give a similar extrusion. Okay. And I'll give a height of extrusion of minus 15. Then I have to move it and bring it down so that it will rest on the top of the first step. So I'll click on move tool, select this. This is the base point. You can pick it anywhere on the screen. Then you keep the cursor in the Z direction minus Z direction. Then you give a height of 15, just type 15. Now you have created both the steps. Next, we will create the pillars. When we analyze the pillars, you can see that these pillars are different from what we have done in the last exercise. These pillars are having a pillar capital. Okay, it's slightly detailed. Then we have a pillar base. Okay, and there is a certain degree of detailing inside the pillar base. So let's try that in the next video.